Welcome to the International News Daily Podcast. I'm your host, Dennis Dunicic. Before we begin, I want to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get right into our story today, which takes us to Russia in Siberia in the Kemerovo region. Now, the story that we're talking about is a very dark and unfortunate one that involves tragedy and the loss of human life. More specifically, we're going to be covering the fire that has broken out in the Lysvyaznaya mine in southwestern Siberia. Now, today, a fire broke out in this coal mine in Russia that killed 11 miners and currently has trapped dozens more. Now, currently, 46 people are still trapped inside the mine. And while rescue workers have made attempts to get them out and they are not being blocked by any type of physical debris, they're being blocked by fire and smoke, the rescue attempts have had to stop. And the reason why is because what occurred was a fire. Now, basically, Russian investigative sources are saying that a fire broke out that lit the coal dust on fire and smoke was produced from this coal dust fire that went through the entire Lisvensnaya mine's ventilation systems and was basically gassing people out. Most of the 11 people who have died have died of smoke inhalation or by trampling from panicking people leaving the mine. Keep in mind, while this incident occurred, 285 miners and workers were inside the mine. Luckily, 239 of these workers were able to get out, but 46 are still trapped and rescue attempts are not able to continue because while a fire has broken out, there has not been an explosion yet. And there is a very likely chance that the mine could explode. And the reality is, is while it would be good to save the 46 people that are in the mine currently speaking, other human lives can also not be put at risk. Now, this is a very serious situation, not just because 11 people have died and 46 people are still stuck in the mine and could potentially die as well, but because 60 individuals were also injured. 44 miners were injured so severely that they ended up having to be hospitalized. Now, a Russian investigative committee is going to be creating a criminal probe to investigate the situation that's going on. And they assume that safety regulations were not being followed that has led to the loss of human life, which is a very serious charge in Russia that is going to probably result in the jail time for somebody that's responsible for not following these regulations and massive fines for whoever is profiting off of this coal mine and not providing the proper safety measures for their workers. I also want to add that President, Russian President Vladimir Putin has gotten involved in this situation, expressing his sincere condolences to the family families of the lost miners, of the 11 miners that have died. In addition to this, Vladimir Putin has directed the government to provide any and all resources necessary for the injured workers of the mine and for all of the survivors of the incident to make sure that they are well taken care of, that they're mentally and physically healthy, and that they're ready to go back to living a relatively normal life, which is actually like Vladimir Putin. I'm not saying this in a propaganda sense. I'm not being paid by the Russian government. Vladimir Putin is a person that can be criticized for a lot of things. But the reality is when workers' rights are in question or workers have been harmed, Vladimir Putin has a history of becoming directly involved himself and ensuring that workers' safety is met, that their pay is met, and that their basic fundamental workers' rights are met. Now, finally, I want to state that this is not Russia's first coal mine incident. And that is no fault of Russia's. Coal mines in general all over the world are constantly having incidents and accidents happen to them. They are a very dangerous place to work in. They are generally unsafe long-term for health with many coal miners developing COPD and dying premature deaths because of lung disease. They also can, they are prone to collapse. They are prone to explosions, methane-based explosions. They are prone to fires. They are just fundamentally one of the most dangerous workplaces on earth. And that is because coal in and of itself is a dirty and dangerous form of energy. But 
let's not focus on the environment and let's focus on the incident that occurred and what it means for Russia. Now, the last coal mine incident to have occurred in Russia was in 2016. It occurred in northern Russia, and it was a series. It was not a fire. It was a series of methane gas explosion that methane gas explosions that killed 36 workers in that specific mine in northern Russia in 2016. Now, public outrage and government outrage led to a Russian investigative committee being formed to investigate, analyze, and do research on all of Russia's 58 coal mines. Now, Russia as an industrialized and advanced country is not that dependent on coal, but it still does have a fair amount of coal mines. Not that many, but still, it has 58 coal mines. And this investigation found, the, the purpose of the investigation was to research their safety and to see if they were potentially dangerous for workers or not. Now, as I mentioned, of the 58 coal mines in Russia, 20 were found to be potentially unsafe and dangerous. Now, for the mathematicians out there, that's 34%. In 2016, 34% of Russia's coal mines were found to be dangerous for the workers. Now, interestingly enough, the coal mine in which this incident occurred, to, occurred in today, the Lisvenznaya coal mine, was actually one of the 38 coal mines that was deemed to be safe and meet all safety standards in 2016. Now, I'm not saying that the investigation was not done properly. The reality is, is a lot of things can change in five years. This investigation do was done in 2016. Safety regulations can change. Management can change. The employees working there can change. There are a lot of dynamics and variables to such a dangerous workplace that could lead to fires, explosions, and other accidents occurring. Now, the last investigation that was done or safety uh, evaluation that was done on the Lisvenznaya coal mine the one where the incident occurred today, actually happened less than a week ago. On November 19th, there was a safety evaluation of the coal mine, a regular, normal, uh, mandatory safety regulation or safety analysis that occurs of the coal mine. Now, these results have not been released to the public yet, and they're probably going to have a lot of heavy influence on the criminal probe that is occurring. The best that we can hope for is the 46 miners that are currently stuck in the mine can eventually be rescued and that there is going to be no more loss of human life. That the 44 individuals who have been injured to the point where they have been hospitalized are going to pull through without any serious complications. That the family members of the 11 miners killed today will be compensated properly and that justice will be done and that in the future, Coal miners and workers in other dangerous fields can have the proper safety and regulatory arms there to ensure that their lives are not at risk. And finally, this is not something that's going to happen in the short term. I'm not an idealist, but eventually that coal power and coal energy is phased out. It's dirty, it's dangerous, it costs lives, and fundamentally, it's just expensive. There are cheaper, safer, better, and cleaner alternatives. But that's my opinion. The main purpose of this report was not to be political, but just explain what has happened in that coal mine in Russia and to give my condolences to the individuals and the family members who have lost people today. But comment what you think. Comment who you think is at fault. Comment if you think justice will be done for the people who have lost their lives and for the people who have lost their livelihoods. And finally, comment what you think about coal power. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to our discussion and I look forward to seeing you next time.